Okay, so this time I want to show um, two objects together, you know, then want them to, two of them to kind of walk back and forth and then kind of say, say something, do something um, um, for them, okay? So let's do this code first. Um, this time we are going to control, since we are going to kind of start off two, let's go ahead and control using uh, this, the flag, okay? So then we are going to do forever and um, move 10 steps and remember we said we want uh, when you bounce off we want to kind of really uh, you know bouncing on the edges so move 10 step if on edge okay so it should work let's make sure it's working properly yeah so it's going back and forth, walking around, right? Okay, very good. So now I want to add another sprite. You can see there's a new sprite. You can either draw or we can upload and you can even take a picture. You can become the sprite, <laughs> no? If you allow to your computer to take a picture. Okay, so I'm just going to stick to uh, library. So let's see, these guys, um, this butterfly kind of looks nice, butterfly too. So I am going to click on butterfly and say OK. And let's see, so I put the butterfly in there. So now I want the butterfly to do the same thing too. So butterfly, you can set the rotation style left to right and uh, when they are clicked and then um, the, yeah, let's go into the forever and the motion, move 10 steps, uh, move 10 steps and then um, then let's see uh, if on edge bounce and uh, let's see let's let's make the butterfly kind of move slower little bit okay so now let's put the let's turn on the flag okay so both of them are kind of bouncing around nicely okay so now I want to show uh, that they can do a lot more than that, you know. So when they're crossing each other, we want them to say something, right? So let's see the sensing. So there is a, there's a distance, distance, distance field, yeah, distance too, right? So let's see, let's go for a sprite. And this guy, if control, if. So what we want to do is if the distance is smaller than something, we want him to say hello, right? Okay, so I just throw in a if statement inside. And uh, sensing operators, because you have to check, remember the distance is less than something, right? So less than let's say 20 and uh, sensing is distance, distance to, right? So I throw in your distance to there, yeah, ah, no, uh, distance to butterfly, let's see, okay, there you go. So distance to butterfly is less than 20, we want to say something. Uh, maybe it makes a sound or uh, you can do all kind of things it can even just say hello say hello for two seconds okay say hello for two seconds probably two seconds too long I'm just going to say one second okay so the, all this action is only for sprite one okay this guy uh, that's a cat right so now let's play it See, there you go. It says hello and stopped and saying hello. Uh, butterfly simply doesn't care. Huh? <laughs> That's an interesting motion, right? So it's just uh, chasing the butterfly and uh, keeps saying hello. Butterfly doesn't care at all. So you can do the same thing in butterfly. 
you know so um, you can just you can uh, make uh, your imagination run wild you know so the butterfly may you can do the same thing and in fact i'm going to leave that as exercise you can make a butterfly the distance to the this guy is small maybe it can make a sound or it can hide and wait for some time how do you wait for some time we saw that somewhere right um events control wait see you can hide wait a few seconds and show up again because the butterfly is so scared about uh, this guy so i let you play with that but at least i have shown you what to do if a distance to butterfly distance to the other object is less than something uh, do some action okay have fun